Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Red Bull Debrecen. So today we have got the big double Astori game uh, and we will be taking them on in today's episode. Uh, there are a few things I need to make you aware of over the last few games. Um, we are top of the league, we have managed to keep on top of that and keep track of it, um, sticking in form there. Uh, you can see we obviously beat Ferrer Frank for us in the last one. Had a few friendlies, didn't perform too amazing, but um, we did end up be going on an unbeaten run. We did draw against Gior, which was a bit annoying, but um, we, we got a win against Homved. And you can see there a new player on the score sheet. Yes, that is right. We have signed a couple of players in January and a couple of players have also left. So... I'll show you who that is. We'll start with who's gone. So Brenner has left to Al Ali in Saudi Arabia. Um, 9.7, 9.5 million pounds. We made a massive loss on him. I just didn't couldn't get along with him after the first season. There was just something about him that I just couldn't couldn't get him firing, and he and he missed so many chances. Kind of got fed up with it, and he's getting on a bit. So. Chuck him out because he's over 30. Um, next one was Gilberto, uh, 8.75, rising to 10.75. Uh, bought by Crystal Palace. Uh, a, a good profit on him, so not, I'm not too unhappy with that, to be fair. We've got plenty of centre-halves. He's a good player, no doubt, but I think we've got better players and, and plenty of other players who can play that role, so I'm more than happy to get some money in for that. That did allow us to bring in a couple of players on the other side, though. Uh, Borko... Vukicevic is the first one uh, from Red Star. Uh, a, a good kind of defender, central midfielder sort of player. But we are looking to develop him as that deep player, um, that anchorman type role we've got in the side. Uh, I think he's got all the attributes for that. Teamwork's a little low, but I think his size and kind of his positioning helps with that. So he doesn't have to work too hard on that front. Um Otherwise, we've got Vladan Komlenovic uh, from Partizan. Uh, played four games, scored two goals in the league so far. Very quick um, on that acceleration front. Um, good good first touch, good dribbling. So on that right-hand side, I think it's certainly a player we can kind of have driving in to the box. Um, he is right-footed on that right-hand side, but it seems to have worked for him so far. He's done very, very well since joining. Um, and he will be starting today. So this is the lineup we're going for. It was only, we only had a day's rest between this and the Hornveg game. And to be quite honest, I tried to rotate the squad, but not everyone is fit. I probably should have used some of the more academy players just because we were winning and beating Honved quite comfortably otherwise. But this is what we're going for. Um, we've got Puskas in goal, Cortez at right back, Alacon and Vinicius at centre half, Neves playing at that left back role. Um, then we've got Gleason and Wilson in the holding, Amado and Slobberslai in the middle with Cristiano in front of them. Uh, Komlenovic is becoming coming in off, off that right-hand side and then De La Fuente up top on his own. Um, yeah, Bassetti's out injured. He's been injured for a little while now. Uh, Vichau's out for seven to ten weeks, so we'll be missing him for a long time. And Danos is out with a suspension. Um, and obviously, Borko Vukicevic is unregistered for the Champions League as we could only register one of them due to homegrown issues like that. Uh, but we've got that sorted with him, so that's not really too much of an issue. But we will jump straight into the game. Ascoli are the team we're playing, the Italian side who are seventh in the table uh, in Serie A. So they're not doing badly, um, I have to say. Uh, they've got a good few players in there, and you might even recognise Bruno Fernandes is their captain. So he's getting on a bit, and they've also got a few more players that are, are getting on. So I'm hoping that our youth and our kind of acceleration and, and pressing and, and intensity might help us out there because you can see Lenglet is in there as well as centre half for them um, who is getting on a bit now so I'm hoping that kind of works in our favour they're matching us for formation pretty much um, obviously we have got that player on the right hand side to be coming in instead but that is kind of how it is we are at home to start with with Bruno Fernandes getting a free kick off and running for us uh, it is played back to him after a short ball and we are pressing quite high. Conrad's able to cut that ball out, which was played back to the centre half. He's got a lot to do on his own at the moment. No one's up with him. Can he get a fire shot? He does. It is blocked and goes through to Gasparini. But two shots in the first five minutes. Pretty happy with that. All right, we're going forward again. Slobberslai gets the ball on this corner. Conrad does look to cross in. He is at the back stick. And there he is, Komlenovic. Uh, he's... 
I tell you what, he has been very, very good since joining. Um, we've had some issues with Bastwita, Bastwita, Bast Batistua, Batist, what's his name? Oh, you know the guy that Real Madrid want. <laughs> he's um he's been out injured for a very long time now, and so we've kind of been implementing um, Nildo uh, and Nicholas out on that right hand side. Sometimes putting Conrad or Salai out there as well. Uh, but I think Komlenovic has really come into his own on that position um, since joining us. He's only played like I say four or five, maybe even six games for us, but he's banging the goals in. And he's in the right place at the right time, which is just what we want. Uh, so we're going in 1-0 at half time in the lead. We are looking the better side. Uh, more possession, more shots on target. They haven't had a shot on target as of yet. Um, I don't want to risk Slobberslai though. So I think I will bring Sandri on. Maybe swap those over. Is that best? Because I think Sandri's a little better in that role. And Amado can get a bit further forward. Although his crossing is not great. But neither's Sandri. So I think we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. Um, we haven't got any midfielders. That is the only other thing that I was kind of trying to work on. Is bringing in a couple more central midfielders. Because as you can see, as we are now packing out that midfield uh, with players, we will look to, to have them involved a bit more. So more midfielders might be needed. But it is cut out. Bruno Fernandes not quite able to get there. And Sandri does. So he powers forward. Uh, he's being closed down, but it's... Play to Komlenovic, who looks over the top to Conrad, which with the ball heads clear, uh, into Fink. But now they look to retain the ball. We've got boys back, so it's nothing too much to worry about. Alacron able to get up and head that over to Komlenovic, who cuts inside and plays it to Wilson, who looks for Cortez, who's on that overlap. So it looks like we could make another chance here. Can he get that ball in? Not quite. It's blocked, but Sandri's there to pick up the pieces one more time. Uh, maybe to work another opportunity to get the ball back into the box. Uh, Cortez is still there. He's got two men on him. If he creates something here, he's managed to get it free. It's knocked down. Cristiano should have probably poked that away. Komlenovic did very well to knock it down for him. Uh, and just a little poke towards goal. Wasn't quite what was needed to, to get the advantage there. Uh, still 1-0 up though. It's confident. As long as they don't get an away goal. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it gives us such an advantage going into the second leg. Uh, with nine, just under 20,000 people in attendance, it's a big, big crowd for today's game. They're obviously confident we can get the business done. Conrad, though, from the throw-in, looking to come inside. Is he going to look to switch out wide? Wilson will likely do so. He loves to do that from that deeper role. Switching it out wide. Cortez, we've got the box filled with players. Can he get across in, though, to find one of them? He does get it across, but straight into the hands of Gasparini and it is no trouble at all. I think we may need to look to change things up a little bit now. Uh, so yeah, Bautista is on the bench, so I think we will bring him on. Um, he's obviously very, he's a very, very good player, but I know we can't hold on to him for long, so I'm very, very happy that Komlenovic has started to perform um, for us as soon as he's come in, so that's good. Uh, we will also, though, look to take Neves off. Um, we don't want him to get injured and Eminem can play there absolutely fine, so it's no no worries at all on that front. Ball over the top. Koita, though, is saved by Puskas. He does very well there. Uh, we, we're dominating the game. If, if they get an away goal, I'm going to be so disappointed just because of how dominant we've been so far. But the substitutes are coming on now. Uh, hopefully, Bautista can make something happen from that right-hand side, get involved in the game as soon as possible. Uh, Eminem on this left-hand side, though he's the first one we see involved. Amado gets it past the defender, or skips away from the sliding challenge initially. Uh, plays it back to Eminem, who will look to get across in now, I expect. He does. Comes out to Cortez on the edge, uh, but a player's got across him quite nicely. Back out to Eminem, who's now going to look to get a shot away. It's been blocked. I mean, I don't really understand why he attempted a shot from there. Uh, but he's got another chance now to make a better decision. He crosses it in, which is definitely the better decision. Lenglet heads clear, but Cortez going forward once again into Bautista. Lays it off to Sandri, into Cristiano. Amado, Cristiano, through. Eminem's there. Oh, and he's hit the post. Can he put it away again? No, it's cleared. Oh, wow. I mean, that football on the edge of the box was lovely. And I mean, Eminem of all players to pop up there, our, our fullback getting in there. Uh, I still haven't changed those corners. That is certainly something I'm going to do before the next game. Uh, ball comes across. It goes back out to Cristiano, who can kind of reset things. Back in the box, headed clear by Lovato. Uh, Wilson. Oh, Sandri's got it. Through to Bautista. Here we go. First goal. But first game back it from his injury, and he does get the goal. That's what he does. He's he's very very good. He's our top, I think he's still our top goal scorer, even though he's been out for a long time. 
So uh, it's not not really a surprise. He's he's by far our best player, and no wonder Real Madrid won him. We were I managed we did manage to stave him off in the January window. Hopefully, because we were hoping he can kind of push us through in the Europa League. But there you have it. It's two nil against Ascoli. And we are going into the second leg with a two-goal advantage. They haven't had enough opportunities to make something of their own. And it's 2-0. So we can go into that second leg full of confidence, full of potential. And I think it's, it's in our hands, absolutely. And we can definitely get something out of this. Okay, here we are then. The second leg against Ascoli. We're away from home in Italy this time. And this is the lineup we're going for. It's the same team as before, but we are popping in Roberto Bautista on that right-hand side. Komlenovic is sitting on the bench for this one. Uh, we'll bring him on if necessary, but I want to give Bautista the time to kind of get back into the games uh, and start playing again properly. So, with that said, let's jump straight into it. We've got that two-goal advantage that we earned in the first leg. Uh, at home so hopefully that should see us through to the next game gives us a good platform to go off of um they have changed their formation to three at the back uh working from home fernandez is still in there as their captain but we're sticking with what we know best uh, and what's kind of got us this far already and we should hopefully get see a good performance out of these boys um but yeah let's just get going it's a long ball by the goalkeeper. Headed back by Alacron. Batista and able to bring that down now. Uh, looks over the top. Looking for Conrad. Not able to get it to him. But Wilson's got plenty of time there. Amado into Cristiano into Batista. Looks through to Conrad who could pop it away. He does. Conrad De La Fuente pops it home after Roberto Batista pass. Fantastic little move there. And, and a great goal. Uh, that's one of the benefits of having those kind of staggered players. We've got the deeper player of um, Wilson. And then the other player that is uh, Amado. No, Cristiano sitting just in front. So we're able to kind of manipulate around. The game is freezing an awful lot. And I do not know why. Um, seems like my computer's having a little bit of an issue. But there you go. We are back in it. Uh, six minutes gone. And we're 1-0 up, which is good to see. 3-0 on Avrigo. It's an away goal as well, which is always very helpful. Uh, Neves does win that header from the goal kick. And we're looking to press one more time. Neves does well again. Cut it out in front of the attacker. Looks to cut power down this left-hand side. Plays it through to Conrad, who looks to be away. He is won by Pavlovic very well. Uh, plays it back to the keeper. But the clearance just comes straight back to Neves, who's again coming forward. Possibly going to look to cut it back. Or does look straight across. Bautista's at the back post. That makes it 2-0. Fantastic stuff. Seven minutes gone. And we're 2-0 up. 4-0 on aggregate. Could this be our year? Slobberzai with the free kick. Plays it through. Vinicius might get there. Not quite. Gasparini's comes out very well and dives for that. Grasping it in his hands. Does look to go long though. And it doesn't look like our boys have dealt with that well. Koita is powering through now. Left foot shot. Straight at Puskas who does well. <coughs> oh, what is that? Don't talk and... Whoa. I don't know what that was, but I think I just choked on something. Maybe a fly. Maybe a fly went in there. Uh, ball comes in. Cleared by Cortez. Coita able to retain that once again, though. And they're looking to get the ball across again. Bruno Fernandes does well. Alacron does really well to get that slide tackle in. Especially on a yellow card. It was a bit of a risky move. But he was able to get what he needed to do be done, done. Gelson Wilson now. Gleason Wilson. I can't speak. Alacron. Out to Cortez. Just keeping the ball nicely. We have been working this ball up the pitch very, very well. Cristiano now. Uh, back out wide to Cortez, who's on that overlap. Uh, definitely going to get that ball in the box. They've, they've got a lot of players back. Goes for it himself. Keeper does comfortably palm over in the end. But we have got another corner. And we're keeping that pressure on them. They're not getting away with it. Here we go. Another an, Our new corner routine in place. Into Conrad, back to Sobberslai, plays it back to Bautista, shoots, saved by Gasparini. There you go, that's a better corner routine. I think he was offside. Um, uh, Cristiano or whoever was taking the corner was possibly offside there, but it's fine, it's no problem. Alacron does well to head that clear. Bautista, can you get there and drive forward? Now he does. There's no one around him. There's, they're really not putting much pressure on him. He's getting a run back. He's taking it past the defender who slid in. Another slide, it's saved and blocked and, and nearly trickles in, but is cleared off the line. We are very, very good at the moment. Is this a free kick? 
Looks like it might be. Bruno Fernandes, maybe give it in that away. Uh, Subs like may do the business here. Another freeze of the game. But is that a sign for another goal? Let's take a look. It's a straight into the wall. Uh, is he going to... Nope, that's, maybe we get another free kick then. Another slob as I free kick. There it is. Oh, it's off the post. Can we get the rebound, Conrad? Off the other post. We've hit both posts. Oh, that, that really could have been it. <laughs> that should have been the third in today's game. But we are going to look short again. Slob as I, Conrad, you've got plenty of time there. You don't need to go offside or anything like that. Conrad, look into maybe slob as I. They're working it on this out right, left-hand side. I mean, I... I'm not entirely sure. Sobazai, though, gets it again. Then looks for another cross and then just kicks it out for a goal kick. What, I mean, what is the thought process there? Batista's got that ball now, driving forward at the defence, plays it into Conrad, lays it off to Wilson. Uh, maybe looking back to Neves. There you go. He's got plenty of time on the ball. Can look to work something here. It's quite isolated out there. Not got much going forward. So he's going to do it on his own. He does well to get past the defender. Ball comes across. Cristiano's not able to hit it towards goal as it's blocked. And then... Conrad fires it over, uh, but it looks like it was saved. So um, we get the corner, but nothing comes of it as it is the end of the half. A very good half, I have to say. I'm, I'm very, very impressed so far. Uh, I don't really want to change anything at the moment. Uh, like I say, I'll probably bring Komlenovic on at some point just to give Batista a little bit of rest. Uh, and it's always good to bring Sandri on as he is very well-rounded and kind of can do a bit of everything. But um, five minutes into the second half now, and we are looking strong still. A very comfortable lead at the moment. 4-0 on aggregate, 2-0 in today's game. I think we might be going through the next round. Don't want to say it too early, but Cristiano gets the throw in. Amado into Bautista, who gets that run at the defence again. It's a long-range effort off the post. Wow. I mean, how many times have we hit the post so far? It's got to be three or four now. Um... Quite astonishing, really, that we haven't got any more. I think so. now is a good time to look at bringing on a couple of players. Maybe we'll bring on Algerson on... No, we won't. I was going to think about taking Nevers off, but we haven't really got any left-backs on the bench. Anyone can play there, at least. Uh, Komlenovic can come on for Bautista. That's absolutely fine. Um, and I think I will also take Amado off for Sandri, uh, who can do a good job in there. Certainly plenty of time for them to get back in this but four goal aggregate with our advantage of two uh, as well so they need to get the five make that six to have any chance of going through uh, there's Conrad with the third in today's game a lovely little through ball by Cristiano as well to make that chance from the free kick Neves into Sandri who looks back to Sobersley round the corner to Cristiano who just plays that ball through perfectly weighted for Conrad to run through and poke it home 3-0 on ag 3-0 on aggregate. 3-0 in this game. 5-0 on aggregate. Fantastic little result this will be. Uh, against Ascoli. It was it was a game I was pretty confident with. Uh, we're gonna look to work this corner. Is this gonna actually work this time, or are we just not gonna be able to make anything of it? Uh plays it back to Comrade. He's got plenty of time and space. Looks for the shot, goes great at Gasparini, and not anything to worry about. Gasparini. Jeez, I can understand why others can't say words when you're recording for some reason it's like it for some reason it's hard to read <laughs> so stupid anyway there it is five nil on aggregate we have got the win we wanted and we are through to the next round we can see take a look at a couple of scores here we obviously won five nil very good napoli got through against braga club bruges is through then you've got celtic who won eight two against olympiacos uh psv made it through against benfica Freiburg as well. Milan smashing Sporting over two legs. Uh, and then you've also got Valencia going through as well. So there are a few teams in there that are a challenge. And I'm not sure. Do other teams get added to this round? I think they might do. I'm not sure though. We'll have to take a look and see who it could be. Hopefully it comes sooner rather than later. But the, the next thing you see will be the next round of the competition. Uh, here we are, Europa League, second knockout round, the draw is on, and here we have all the teams that are in the draw. I mean, there's some big teams in there, but I think, I hate to say it, but I reckon we could take them all on. I think we could do them all. I mean, Milan we've obviously had issue with, Lazio we have as well. So Napoli and Tottenham and Everton may be a struggle, even Lyon, but I think 
Club Bruges, Rangers, Monaco, Valencia, all these teams we could absolutely have a go at and have a chance of winning. Um, Celtic versus Monaco is the first one. Freiburg versus Tottenham. So Tottenham's gone, which is nice. PSV versus Leeds. Uh, Milan. Uh, I'd rather not take Milan again. Okay, they've got Hoffenheim. Uh, here we are. So we've got the chance of getting the guys down here. So Valencia, Rangers, Club Bruges, Everton, Lyon, Lazio and Napoli. Uh, who would I prefer? Probably Club Bruges or Rangers. They're probably the ones we'd want. And we get Rangers. Okay, that's that's positive. That gives us a very good chance then. Uh, let's take a quick look at the team they've got there. Uh, obviously, an average range of £19,000 um, a week which isn't bad. Uh, they've got their key player is Ivan Illich, who I believe is from Manchester City. Now, that doesn't show me much, but it does show me that... We've got a chance. Um, <laughs> Scottish Premier League. The, I mean, he's played for Brentford in the Prem. He's done very well for him in Scotland as well. But I think, I mean, he's worth, he was bought for 17 million, worth 15 million at this point. So very good player. Uh, I mean, I think we've got every chance of going through here um, with a team like this as we're playing. Uh, I'm not too concerned that's a great result i think i mean that's a fixture we've got every chance of winning um so we will be coming back for that game uh that will be only in a game's time so i'll see you very soon uh for that one and i hope you did enjoy uh like subscribe all that good stuff let me know what you think about the rangers game is that the best draw we could have got or is there any others we maybe could have would have preferred but i think it's a pretty good one either way and it's got gives us a good chance of going through to the next round so um like I say, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time.